So I just spent 10 days exploring the Shanxi province of China. Shanxi is located in the central northwest region of China, and Xi'an is its capital city. It's a bustling city that used to be one of China's ancient capitals, and there's one main attraction that many people know about Xi'an. The Terracotta Warriors These warriors were built solely for the purpose of being an afterlife army for Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor. Now we're visiting Mr. Yang, the actual farmer who found the Terracotta Warriors in 1974. So let's go check him out. We were fortunate enough to meet Mr. Yang, the only surviving farmer who found the Terracotta Warriors back in 1974. He still remains to be a farmer to this day, but has become quite the local celebrity in Xi'an. We asked how he felt when he first saw the Terracotta Warriors. He said that he felt scared because he didn't know exactly what they were. He had no idea that these broken pieces would form an army of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses. still currently being excavated, and they just discovered via underground radar that there is still something even greater underneath. So watch the space in Xi'an because exciting things will happen soon. Now another place not to miss in Shanxi is just two hours away from Xi'an. Mount Huashan home to what is known as the most dangerous hike in the world. The danger element in Huashan lies not only in its almost vertical peaks, but at the two-way traffic in these narrow and precarious passages. No safety rails whatsoever. Your life literally hangs on a wire, two carabiners, and a torso only harness. I'm proud to say that this is one of the craziest things I've done. The view is breathtaking, and the adrenaline rush after the hike it is so worth it. Four hours from Xi'an, you can find the Yellow River and the Hukou Waterfall. This is the second longest river in China and is also known as the Cradle of Chinese Civilization. Going back to Xi'an City, it's also a must to visit the ancient city wall. It's the most intact ancient Chinese wall in existence. And the best and most fun way to explore the walls is by hiring a bike. And of course, there's the food. Xi'an is famous for its handmade noodles. And I was happy to see that Chinese food in Xi'an used the simplest and freshest of ingredients. Xi'an is also known for rou jia mo, or stewed pork burgers. We were shown how the buns are made fresh. I also made a very feeble attempt to make these buns, but I don't think the head baker was very impressed. It's 
also very convenient to be a vegetarian or a pescatarian in Xi'an. There are lots of vegetarian restaurants and the vegetables are plenty and fresh. There are lots of mushrooms and eggplant. Whether you're a meat eater or a vegetarian, I can guarantee you will be very well fed in Xi'an. Now I saved my favorite part of Xi'an for last. The famed Silk Road. The ancient trade route that connected the east to the west actually had its starting point in Xi'an. As a result of this trade, the Islamic faith made its way to the east and there is a population of minority Muslims in China. And in Xi'an, you can get a glimpse of this population at the Muslim quarter. count of the number of lamb carcasses that I've seen. I don't eat meat, but it really made me appreciate the vast diversity of the Chinese people in Xi'an. It's almost impossible for me to describe my experience in Xi'an in just one word. You see, Xi'an pulls you back in time with its long history of ancient China. And at the same time, it also pushes you beyond your limits with its breathtaking activities. I arrived in Xi'an with no expectations and left it with a whole new appreciation of history and adventure.